this and you're like, you got this. It is Monday and we are back at work. I hate Mondays. Mondays should not exist. Too much. Let me show you guys my breakfast. So I never have the time to prepare anything for breakfast. And what I usually do is I make sure I have my tea though. Make sure I have some kind of caffeine. This is just like literally banana chips. <laughs> and then I found these at work in the conference room because we have like some snacks there so I had got beef and butter <laughs> and it's really good I have a pilates is it pilates? a pilates class and something chisel a workout class so I'm doing two workouts today hopefully I will survive. We shall see. Hey, buddy. Hi, buddy. I'll see you later. I totally missed the uh, the Pilates class. <laughs> well, I didn't really. I was like five minutes late, but I didn't want to go in because the lights were off. And like there was like a note in the back that said class in session, please don't go in. So I'm just like, I'm just not gonna go in. But um, I did the chisel class and that shit was intense. <laughs> I can't even talk properly anymore. But um, yeah, that was that was pretty good. I got a really good workout today. this and you're like you got this so today was valentine's day party at work i mean i'm still at work and it is crazy and i'm trying to hide from the children i'm in the bathroom because i need quiet <laughs> work literally drains my energy <sighs> i just I don't know what to do. I don't know how to change. I don't know if there's anything I need to change. Like, should I sleep? I've been trying. I've been sleeping earlier. I've been doing like, uh, but it's just like, there's just too much. There's too many things I have to do at one time that it's like, it's just taking a toll on my body. My back hurts. My head hurts. Like, I'm thirsty i'm not drinking enough water <sighs> i don't know anymore but anyways i am going to grab some food maybe i don't know i just need like i don't know if i want almond milk or soy milk because they said that almond milk uh almond milk is not really good for you but I don't know. I like the taste of almond milk better on my smoothie, to be honest. I need to get that, and um, I have a friend coming over. We're going to do another Valentine's Day party. Today is February 14th. Today's Valentine's Day, so happy, so happy Valentine's Day to everyone, to anyone, and to all the people that I love. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, like, I mean, I think the reason why I'm so tired is because we had a Valentine's Day party at work, but, I mean, I'm usually always tired, but I'm, like, extra, extra tired today. I was so over it. <laughs> they kept coming in, and just like, alright, it's time to go home. <sighs> oh my god, this sun is so bright. But, yeah, let's go get some food shopping.
Yugi. Okay, so I'm going to make Yoshi's food. We had a little bit of breakfast, but I'm just preparing this for his lunch. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water, like really warm water. Just do that. Okay. Then I let his kibbles soak in there. Those were like some leftover kibbles that he didn't finish from this morning because well, he usually goes back and forth to it. Then I'm gonna put this beef pate in there. You, I kind of just let this soak in for a little bit. And then also I'm gonna put this, I just put these in there for like a little flavor and also like apparently it's better for them to have wet food. So I literally, just do a little bit of that and it lasts for three days and I do a little bit of this too and that's it okay Yoshi you here Um, can I just get a tall vanilla bean frappuccino? I'm sorry, you said a tall? Yeah, tall vanilla bean frappuccino. Banana syrup, anything else? Um, that's it. Alright, Awesome, thank you. Almost went to Petco to go get a pet carrier for Yoshi, but then I remembered um, Marshall's has pet stuff. And I found a carrier for like 16 bucks. I can never remember to bring bags whenever I am trying to get some food. So this is literally, this is like a normal thing for me now. <laughs> it's like playing puzzles or Tetris and just hoping for the best, honestly. The weather's been really gorgeous lately and it's giving spring vibes. It's June, it's June. It's February, but it's, it's giving spring vibes, so. I felt it's not gonna stay up, so I felt the need to buy flowers because I just I don't know. If you fall one more time, so I got some flowers so I can rearrange them and make the space look pretty. <laughs> and I bought flowers that are safe for my little buddy Yoshi. I literally was like looking up what flowers that are, like I that are not toxic to cat. I guess I literally love buying flowers. Probably like I do it once a month. It's one of my self-care things. Yeah, I knew that was gonna fall, damn it. So, yeah.
I really love this flower vase thing. I got it from the Valley Vintage place. Oh my gosh, it's so cute! And it like fits perfectly with this candle holder that I have. <laughs> I'm obsessed. My aunts, they used to take pictures in front of flowers, right? And I used to be like, why do they do that? And now I do the exact same thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just love how this turned out. It's so simple, but it's so pretty. So the reason why I was like I had to buy this flower vase was because of this candle holder that I have and I just knew it would match so well <laughs> and it, I just I love it I got this one too and that matches well with that vase I just I love it so much it's so cute I just like the mix of colors I feel like it doesn't have to look cohesive or it doesn't have to like go together. Well, I don't know what that was. But anyways, yeah, it doesn't have to look cohesive. You can, but you can always also mix it up. And I just love how eclectic, is that a word? Is that a word? <laughs> I love how eclectic it looks together. It's just, I am obsessed. I wish I was hosting a dinner anytime soon just so that these flowers could last, but <laughs> maybe I could invite some friends.
This house is literally one of my dream house. Like, I want to have a house like this right now. Like, I want to marry rich. <laughs> well, I want to be rich. I want to be that rich person. But, like, the ceiling. Do you see how high the ceiling is? It's crazy. Yeah, that was... I don't know what I'm trying to say. I was gonna say that was my week, but I don't even know if I recorded a week full of things. Well, anyways, I've just been trying to like keep myself more occupied and like do more things because lately if I'm just home watching shows or like trying to watch shows like I don't even have anything to watch anymore like I feel like everything just makes me sad <laughs> if that makes sense like I was like telling myself like I don't wanna I really don't wanna face it but at the same time I'm like I know if I just stay home I'm gonna be even more depressed which is gonna suck even more so I'd rather be doing something keeping myself occupied than like not doing anything and just like being really feeling really crappy at the end of it so i'm just trying to like be more i don't want to say be more busy but i'm just trying to have more things to do and this is saying crap <laughs> but um i just need to and it's always i feel like my emotion is just like a roller coaster like i have a day like that where i just feel so if I'm just watching shows and doing nothing at home, I feel so crappy. But then I have a day where I do the, like, I do the exact same thing and I'm like, oh, I'm okay. Like, I'm so happy. This is so fun. I can totally do this. <laughs> or, like, I don't know. It's just, uh, is this, am I, like, going through menopause? I don't know. <laughs> Please no, because I still need to find my Mr. Right. <sighs> I don't know. Like, life lately has been just crazy. Like, I'm grateful for everything. I'm grateful for, for each moment and for all the things I get to experience. But at the same time, I mean, like, I, I hate to admit it, but, like, at the same time, I know I'm sad. Like, I know I'm, like, getting the blues or feeling crappy. And I kind of just, like, have to keep going, th like, just keep pushing through, through like, just, just keep pushing through, what? Just keep pushing through until... I get that spike of like serotonin again or just like that spike of happiness again like okay yay I'm back to my normal self but <clears throat> I'm trying to interact more socialize more connect more and that that part is really helping a lot but yeah I don't know how I got sitting to like my whole depression talk I don't even know <laughs> like how did I manage to do that um but yeah I am going to read this book I read the first part of this um it's called it ends with us it, I really love that book and this is like the the sequel second part to it and like I know it's gonna be really good well for me personally I know it's gonna be really good I love um her books what's her name Colleen Colleen Hoover I really love her books and yeah that's gonna be basically my Friday night look at that so fun 
because I got to have like really good food. That's one of the perks about babysitting is that you get to eat really good yummy food and you earn money. Ow, let me just shut this off. Okay.